Hey guys, it's your boy Fudo Yusei with another deck profile for the channel Legendary Duels. I'll be working on the Stardust um, Dragon uh, Turbo deck profile, still a character deck, um, but it's more based on Stardust Dragon. Now, unlike Judai, he has, uh, Yusei doesn't have a lot of like specific support for the Stardust. But, I worked with whatever I had. So let's start with the tuners. I have the Bree Dragon. Pretty simple. You can only use it to synchro summon for a dragon's uh, use. They only have starters. So we have an anime card, Blue Express Falcon. It's pretty good. Uh, it combos off with another card, uh, which I'll get into later on. Um, we have Effect Veiler. Have to have Effect Veiler. And then for the Synchron Monsters of the deck. Um, I didn't decide to add uh, a lot of the other synchros just because I wanted to make it more based on Stardust. So um, we have Quick Draw Synchron, Free Synchron, which is um, he's good to use for Stardust. We have Turbo Synchron, Unknown Synchron, Nitro Synchron, Road Synchron, and last but not least, Jump Synchron. Those are the tuner monsters of the deck. Uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward now we'll get into the monsters for this I decided to add <clears throat> a specific support that he used um, it was like a, a, a special um, Stardust Dragon Assault mode yes I added I had to yeah he's a little broken or whatever but for this meta he's not crazy broken but for character duels uh, yeah he's a little annoying um, it's pretty straightforward uh, we I added um, Stardust Shaolong uh, another Stardust base card, and I added um, Stardust Phantom. Another good card uh, in case your Stardust get you know your, you can't bring out Stardust um, because you don't have any other cards. This is perfect to bring them out, and it keeps them alive for a while. The anime effect is better, but it's kind of the same thing. But yeah, so you can use that. Uh, I also added Bright Star Dragon. This is the card I was talking about that combos all very well with um, Blue Express Falcon, the tuner. And I suggest you use the anime effect of Bright Star Dragon because his anime effect is when he's summoned, period. That you can target a face of monster on the field and um, accept himself and increase that target's level by two. As opposed to the regular effect with normal summon. So it's a good card to combo off with a Blue Express Falcon. We also have Level Warrior. Um, he special summons himself, becomes a level 4, um, which is pretty, he has another effect to make him level 2, but that's not really that important. It's based on trying to summon Stardust Dragon as quickly as possible and to have him out on the field as much as possible. We also have Cobalt Hedgehog, another good card. Um, we have Turbo Booster, um, Tuning Wear, we have Stronghold Guardian, a uh, pretty a uh, good combo card to combo with um, uh, Phantom and um, it's good to make sure that you keep Stardust Dragon alive as long as you can, you know, kind of stall until you try and get out, um, you know, Shooting Star or any other, other Stardust um, um, Synchro Monsters. We have Speed Warrior, Rockstone Warrior, I rarely use this card, but for this occasion, I will. Um, he has a pretty cool effect, um, you take no battle damage from battles involving him. Uh, and when he attacks and is destroyed by battle, you can spread summon two Rockstone tokens. They're both level one. So it makes it easier to go into a, a you know, Formula Synchron and then, you know, Axo Synchro for Shooting Star Dragon. And last but not least, the Stall Card Shield. Uh, pretty good basic cards. Um, I didn't like, I didn't want to add too many Stall Cards in the deck because it's more based on Stardust. So now we'll go into the Spell Cards. Um, again, you know, I kept the originality of, the, of how Yusei would run his deck. Uh, he doesn't run a lot of spell cards. <clears throat> but in this deck, he has a lot more than all the other deck profiles I've, ever, I've made in the past. So, word for one, again, just to make sure that you can bring out that level one for Formula Synchron and then Axel Synchro for Shooting Star Dragon. Um, <clears throat> straightforward. Variety comes out. Pretty good card. Uh, you return a Synchro Muscle, then you bring out um, from... You know, to so your extra deck, and then you space some of the monsters from your graveyard, whose total levels are equal to that. Yeah, you can't synchro summon that turn, but it helps for stalls, and also it helps for a variety of uh, tuner monsters on the field. So that way, 
you can bring out a synchro or you could bring out Stardust again if you want to do that. I added an anime card, Speed Fusion, yes, I added Speed Fusion, I'll tell you why later. As you see, it does have one Fusion monster that he used once. Uh, I added Synchro Return, um, another card, there's a reason, I'll explain all of that after the video, um, after I review the deck profile. Um, I added Angel Baton and uh, Vision Wind. These cards are very simple, very straightforward, but they all have a purpose. They all have a purpose in making sure that you can bring out Stardust Dragon and kind of spam them as much as possible. And his evolutions. I didn't, I didn't, you know, have anything else to do. Um, to the traps, you say is what you say is most famous for. Uh, we have Starlight Road. Pretty basic. Uh, you can pretty much negate any. Thing that would destroy two more cards, and it's pretty good. I, I feel like it's good, especially in this meta now. Since you know, um, Twin Twisters and Raigeki and all these other freaking cards that destroy more than one cards on the field are being run are running loose. Um, I suggest you use the anime effect. It's the same thing. The only difference is that the special summon of Stardust Dragon is treated as a synchro summon, so that way you'll be able to bring it back out with like Heart of the Haunted, uh, Monster Reborn, and stuff like that. Um, the regular ruling you can, but with the anime effect you can. Uh, Starlock, Stardust Flash, I'm so glad they made that card. You simply special summon Stardust Dragon from the grave. And Shooting Star, <coughs> you pop a card and you control the Stardust monster. So it's pretty good. Those are a few of the support cards for Stardust. We have also Assault Mode Activate. Uh, it's the only way you're going to bring out Stardust Dragon Assault Mode. And we have Synchro Out, again. You know, trying to return Stardust Dragon back to the extra deck so that you can spam him again. Um, it's kind of a good way also to defend yourself as well. Um, so it's a good defense and offensive, you know, card, depending on how you use it. We also have Urgent Tuning. So this combo's off pretty good with Synchro Out or with the spell card Variety Comes Out. Uh, with Variety Comes Out, it combos off good because uh, you can't Synchro Summon on that turn. So you're kind of open with just tuners, so if you have like a regular monster out, and you can summon it or whatever. Um, you can just have that bait so that when your opponent battles you or whatever, you can just instantly synchro summon. We have a graceful revival. <clears throat> you know, just summoning low level monsters to just try and bring out that shooting star dragon as quick as possible. Or any of the other synchro monsters, but mostly, you know, um, Stardust uh, based synchros. We have... Scrap Iron Scarecrow, Sakata Tetsu Kakash, no explanation there. Miracle's Wake, just to be able to bring out a monster that was destroyed by battle, you know, and sent to the graveyard during that turn. Uh, anime Effect uh, is when it's sent, but I usually just use the regular one because um, I've never seen myself using, you know, having to use the Anime Effect. Defense Draw, uh, this is a defensive card. Synchro Material, um, again, a good card to combo off with urgent tuning and uh, synchro out or variety comes out, things like that, just to try and bring out a synchro monster or you know again spamming starters. And last but not least, the sending lost star. So that's pretty much the deck. Now we'll go into the extra deck. Now <clears throat> I didn't add all the starters evolutions because you know there's other videos and other deck profiles that I want to make, so I didn't want to add all of them but these are the synchros that i felt like i wanted to add and i should have added so to start it all off pretty much the main card of the deck stardust dragon uh we have shooting star dragon and we have dragon knight to drake quest this is the reason why i added that um that speed spell um speed fusion yeah speed fusion uh because you say never used polymerization because he's an a-hole. Um, he couldn't fuse when he was standing, so he has to do everything while he's riding his bike. But yeah, so that's the only fusion. I recommend you use the anime effect, it's way better. Um, the anime effect, I believe, is uh, um, it's the same conditions, but instead you get to banish uh, <clears throat> you know, one of the materials that you use to summon it, and then he gains that card's effect, pretty much, and then the same effect of oh, when he's face up in attack position, any effect damage you would take is reduced to zero. We have Rogue Warrior, Junk Destroyer, 
Nitro Warrior, Turbo Warrior, Junk Warrior, Armory Arm, and Formula Synchro. That's pretty much the lineup for the Synchros. I felt like the deck was, you know, pretty tight, and I didn't want to spam again all the, you know, Stardust cards into one because I have other deck profiles I want to make. But every card in the deck has a purpose. Every card has a, a you know, a combo. Um, that combos off with other cards. Um, I'll just show like maybe two or three. So for example, like Synchro Material, Urgent Tuning, Synchro Out, you know, and, or this card, and even this card. These cards combo off well depending on how you use them. So, you know, we have these combos. So what you want, um, Synchro Material, Urgent Tuning. Basic combo. It even tells you when you buy the Dolos Pack and one of those like um, helpful tips that they give you. Uh, straightforward, just you just gotta know how to use the card. So, say your opponent attacks you, you would activate Urgent Tuning and then you'll chain Synchro Material. That way you get to use one of your opponent's monsters as a Synchro Material instead. And then you can Synchro Summon. So, if you want, you can bring out Stardust and stuff like that. Also, the same thing. If you want to use these three, if you have them out, if you're lucky enough, you can activate this and then set these two and again, Synchro right off the bat for any of the Synchro monsters that you can, depending on the tuners you bring out. Hopefully Stardust because that's what the deck is mostly based off. The same thing will go if, uh, if say for example, um, you have um, these three. You can descend the Lost Star, Stardust Dragon, Synchro out, and then Urgent Tuning and bring Stardust Dragon right back. So these five cards here combo off well with each other depending on how you use it. Um, so that's pretty much that. There's another, there's other combos. For example, um, the reason why I added these cards um, because Draco Knight, um, Dragon Knight Draco Equist requires you to banish one of the materials that you use to summon it. So, say you have to banish Stardust Dragon, he pretty much becomes a Stardust Dragon in a sense because he takes the effect permanently, so if like, you use his effect to bring him back out, in the anime it works that way, the regular effect doesn't, that's why I say the anime is better. Um, you can activate Synchro Return and Special Summon back your Stardust Dragon and then, you know, go for, you know, you can either, you know, Assault Mode activate it or... You can just synchro summon for shooting star dragon depending on what you feel like doing at the moment but it's so that stardust dragon doesn't get banished because this will banish it again from play so you know just easy cards easy combos that you can use to bring out your stardust dragon as fast as possible <clears throat> the same thing goes with the monsters uh <clears throat> I mean, if you open up with this hand, you're freaking, you're, you're officially, you say, I'll, I'll relinquish the title. No, I won't. <laughs> if you open up with this hand, then you're a beast. This is the same hand, if, if for anybody who's seen the 5 D series, this is the hand that you say used on the last episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! 5 Ds when he dueled against Jack. Um, this is literally, was his opening hand, first turn started, so... It's possible to go first turn starters in this deck with all the you know all the cards that we that I added to make sure that I can. Uh, honorable mentions that I didn't add that are more starters oriented. Uh, <clears throat> I didn't add Hypersynchron. Uh, I felt like okay, it's a really good card, and even if you use the anime effect, it's pretty good. But you know, it gets banished at the end of the second standby phase of using the anime yeah it can be destroyed by battle and um, it gains 800 but i felt like i didn't want to add that i have other plans for it uh also um is that equipped spell card so silver wing silver wing yeah, yeah silver wing it just makes just in any dra eight, level eight or higher dragon type monster uh shield wing and then if it would be destroyed by card effect that equipped card gets destroyed instead um as you can see, I didn't add Majestic Dragon or Majestic Star Dragon. I have other plans with that. I'm currently trying to work on a deck that's based more off him. So I want to save a lot of these cards for that deck. This deck is pretty much based on Stardust. And everything in the deck works off well to go for Stardust. But again, you know, Star Yusei's deck, 
he doesn't have a lot of very specific starters cards like Judai and his stupid Neils. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> his piece of crap Neils hey. and all his support for Neils. Not my fault, you suck. Can't Shut up. Your own dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I feed him enough. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, it doesn't have a lot of support for him, but uh, the what the support that it has is enough. The good thing about Yusei's deck, he has a lot of synchro based support. So you can use those cards if you want to aid you, you know, with the uh, while you have starters and stuff like that. So there's a lot of cards that Yusei has that are very synchro oriented, um, very synchro based, and you can use those cards to kind of supplement for the lack of starters, you know, like exclusive starters based cards, unlike Judai and his Neo. So I don't care. It's me and could take his hero out somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, so that's the deck, guys. I hope you have fun. Um, I will have the side deck in the description below yep. Yep. Um, for those who want to kind of, you know, try out new things. I'll make sure that the side deck um, is more uh, of other cards that you can still work with within the deck. So that way the deck doesn't lose, like, you know, consistency yeah consistency and, and it doesn't lose the balance it doesn't lose the you know the the reason for the deck which is you know it's mostly for starters it's all starters that's it that's all you need to know starters forget this map every all these other monsters don't count this guy counts that's it that's all it is even you say fuck you say <laughs> <laughs> all right guys take care i hope you enjoy riding dude acceleration gotcha いかりのワーク。ペンドロマスーカン。